So I am back with a new video. Today we are going to do a very very simple animation like this, like a giant wheel. Maybe you will feel like what is the special in that just a circle is moving with some bucket kind of things, right? So you try it before, uh, just try first, then you can come back to my tutorial. So you will feel like it is very easy, but I will show you now how to do this with the simple simple tricks, like a very simple tricks, okay? So we will start this now. So for this, I will be having three objects, right? Three elements. One is that big wheel, and one is a stand for that, and there is that bucket or that seed, right? So we are having all only these three things to do this particular animation. Maybe stand. I'll keep it into new layer. So I'll just go to new layer and I'll keep it there because we'll be using this little later, no problem. And I'll just lock it and hide it. Okay, we are having one wheel and one this bucket. Now we'll start. So I'll go to this bucket part and I'll just keep it here and I'll say right click, convert to symbol graphic. Okay, I'll give name as a bucket only. We can give it like seed kind of thing. Done. Okay, there's already some name here, sorry. No problem. So we have given some name there. And see that your pivot point is here or not. You just keep your pivot point exactly here to this point very very important because it will be fixing to this part. Now I just go inside this bucket so you can see here from screen we get went inside bucket right. Again I double click I will be back out on the main scene. So if I double click here we are inside this bucket. Okay channel. I will give some 100 frame animation. Right click. Create classic frame. Last frame. Key frame like F6. And just adjust this pure point exactly to top. done so it is not moving now now very important open the properties then go to this first frame here and down here rotate I will say clockwise done at this point this is done see you can see that it is rotating on a clockwise particular bucket no problem now come back to main area mine scene and I just copy this bucket to all the corners. Control D is duplicate. I just duplicate and I keep it here. Again duplicate. Okay. You can set it back later if you want it has to go like behind this particular topic, no problem. I just keep this. This is already animated. We already done the animation of clockwise animation for this particular bucket using symbols. If you feel like this, what is symbol? If there is a one more video called on symbols. Live recording video is there on symbols. You can go through that video. So you will understand exactly what is symbols. So I have kept that bucket particular here. Done. Super. Now, again I go back to timeline. Now as the symbols, we know there are 100 frames inside, right? You can see like if I go again inside bucket, we have done 100 frames for animation. So come back to scene and give 100 frame your file. Again, you can see those buckets are moving, right? See, because it's copy paste of particular buckets, even the thing is here, leave it. So these buckets are moving here like this now. You can see, okay. So these are moving like this. Now we are having one more trick. Now I will select whole thing, like I will select this whole wheel and buckets and I will make this one more symbol. Uh, not a symbol, I will give name as maybe wheel, giant wheel, right? I will give this name and I will say OK. So now whole thing will be changed as a symbol. Now I will take the center point here, again I will be giving 100 frames F5. Just go inside and check there is one frame called that wheel. We already done this as a symbol. So go inside here also give 100 frame F5, right? Like frames, right? So we are having 100 frames here also. Now come back to scene and I will give tween here. Right click, create classic tween. Last frame, F6. Check that pure point is exactly in center. Yes, it is in center. Here, yes, it is in center. Now click on this wheel, go to properties, 
and I'll change rotation to opposite side. Like click on the frame, I'll say counterclockwise, like anti-clockwise. Still, see now. See the fun. Ready? Now we have that stand here, so I'll just keep that stand exactly something somewhere here. Now you see the animation. Got it? That main wheel is rotating anti-clockwise, but inside that small buckets were rotating clockwise. So we have done both using both. We got this very nice simple animation. Right? So if you like this video, please share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Okay. Thank you. I'll be back with a new video with the new tips and tricks.